All right, today we got some new love bites, and huge shout out and thank you to Alan from Decodic for reminding me with his video, oh my gosh, I'm having microphone problems, that Love Bites new song Judgment Day just dropped today. This date, December 23rd, has been in my head all month, and somehow it didn't click with me that it's already the 23rd. It's gone by so fast, December. Anyway, I'm super excited. Let's just jump into this. Hydrate. Base tapping? Okay. I'm not super familiar with all of Love Bite stuff yet, but have they had tapping like this in the intro before? Or this like dark kind of build up in the intro? It, it doesn't sound like any Love Bites I've heard before. And of course, Fami is bringing this new type of energy to the band, so it's pretty sweet. Okay, that transition to the second verse was super smooth, but dang. Oh, we got the master sword here. <laughs> um, holy crap. Those strings, the dink, bam, 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 dink, 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 dink. Such a cool progression on the strings. Love that. Um, also, just the energy that they're bringing to this and the fast paced, constant movement throughout the song. Like, this seems so much quicker pace than most of the love bites I've heard before. A lot of stuff I've heard is long, drawn out, and epic, but this is just in your face, quick moving keeping your attention constantly pulling between different parts really cool composition oh haruna's ride work too in there oh yeah Different this time around. Isn't that ride? So one of my favorite things about Haruna is her symbol work is just so unlike anything I hear anywhere else. Um, just she does so many different kinds of rhythms and effects with her ride symbol and her stacks of symbols, her china, like so many cool symbol sounds that she plays. But the second chorus here, the first time around, they just did, you know, the one progression and first they moved up and down, then they moved back up and then up again and then into the second first. Cool, smooth transition. But then this time they introduced this whole new 
epic wide open part with Asami just belting it. I love her voice. I love the the deep uh, melodic or operatic uh, vibrato, you know? Reminds me of a some type of harmonic is this a harmonic minor Duh. oh we're in a f sharp so like a sharp byzantine or phrygian major something like that but dang these solos just take you to a different place and midori is freaking ripped holy crap but I got to start with these solos over again. There's just such a cool effect that it had on the song, changing up the feel. Oh, she goes on to that. Oh yeah. It must be the flat second she went to there. Sounds super dissonant, but just so satisfying. It's only one note from the root. Oh. Soundscape. Oh my gosh, this is so epic. This kind of reminds me, not musically at all, but of when uh, Gotcha Spin got Angie on board and just breathed this whole new life into the band, made them try new things and get like, you know, it's almost like impressing the new member, you know, but uh, <laughs> like this just feels different than Love Bites I've heard before. Again, I haven't heard at all, so I could be totally wrong on this, but it's such a cool new sound. I'm excited to hear because they have a full album coming out, right? Anyway. Oh, yeah. February 22nd. Sorry, February 22nd is when the new album comes out. You probably already knew that, but I just had to say it.
Oh, that part is so epic. Asami's is this the same song? Asami's note, that last note she just sang? Holy crap! That was so BA. It was like the whole song was building up to that one moment. And that oh, love that unison. What was that? Ah, oh, okay. Is Oh, so this is a callback to the intro. This must just be the ending credits, right? This is how it started. Oh no! That was an actual outro! Needs more hearts before she can pull the Master Sword. Wow. That was epic. I'm speechless. Like... This is the first Love by its new release that I've been around for, and it's occurring to me now, I think the vast majority of Love Bites videos I've seen have been live videos. So this is one of the first studio versions I've actually listened to as well. So please give me recommendations for what, you know, what I should check out from their past stuff, but I'll definitely be keeping up with their new stuff for sure, especially for Gaijin Guys, where we talk about Japanese music every Sunday and Alan, who reminded me that this song was out by posting his reaction, is part of that as well. He's the, you know, the one of the co-hosts. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you, and I'll talk to you next time.